Describe one way of comparing the reactivity of two metals. Okay, so describe one way of comparing reactivities among metals. So one way of comparing the reactivity of metals is to conduct a number of tests on samples of the two metals and hopefully we'll have equal surface area. That's important, but sometimes it can't be helped. So hopefully we'll see equal surface area, but sometimes we won't be able to. So samples of the first metal would be left, to ex left exposed to oxygen, then heated in a Bunsen burner. Okay. Then the sample would be placed in three test tubes of cold, hot and hot water, cold and hot water, and dilute acid. Obviously this would be repeated for the second metal, with all conditions being kept the same. Test done at the same temperature, same acid, same concentration, same temperature of waters, etc. The more tests in which a reaction was detected, the more reactive the metal is. Okay, so if we see the reaction happening for cold water, we would assume that it happens for hot water and dilute acid. Alternatively, the reactivity of metals could be compared by comparing the first ionization energies of the two. So something with so the first ionization energy, remember, is the energy required to remove one electron from the outermost shell of a gaseous element. So the less reactive metal would be the one with the higher first ionization energy. Okay, so what that means is, is it harder to remove that one electron? If so, it's going to be less reactive. The one with the lower ionization energy uh, would take a lot less energy to remove that electron and become an ion, because it's a metal, remember? So it means that metal will be more reactive, because it will be easier, uh, more, there will be more opportunities for it to remove that electron than the less reactive metal.